you watching the brat? Chess of the brat, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chess of the brat. Chess of the brat. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, what is you doing? Today, y'all, we really do not have the time. We don't have the time, so I'm just gonna explain it real fast. When you subscribe to me, you get a better ass, you get a bigger bank, you get that nigga you was plotting on. Yeah. If you don't believe me, just check the pinned comment of like almost all of my videos and the testimonials will let you know. This wasn't even a story time I was planning on doing because this literally happened last month. Um, well, what month are we in right now? Yeah, this happened about last month and y'all I was really debating on whether or not I wanted to even do this story time But like I feel like she really asked for it Like I feel like she begged me damn near on her knees for me to do this story time. So Obviously we're doing it But the reason that I was debating if I wanted to do it or not is because y'all I don't like the unprofessionalism I don't like like y'all see on my on my channel. I only have one other like hairstylist YouTube video and then I have like um, a tattoo artist scam me type of video and if y'all think those are the only times that somebody in Atlanta or like a service provider did something or scammed me or just I had a bad experience with you're mistaken I just don't like to take every little situation to the internet because it's like you know some stylists some service providers have their bad days and people you know make mistakes and sometimes like I my communication with certain people haven't been the greatest and you know I wouldn't want somebody just upping and generalizing me as an entire person because of one lack of communication situation or something like that so like I said I don't like to really take exposing people to the internet like I'll tell y'all about these random off the street that I be getting into it with but I really do not like to take situations with people to the net like i really don't i really don't i really don't but like i said she basically asked for it and i feel like this was probably her plan all along maybe she had this weird twisted like fantasy of having a story time being made about her i don't know but um we're just gonna hop into this story time i am gonna give the disclaimer that i won't be sharing who this person is a lot of y'all are gonna be like expose her expose her because we don't want to book her baby i promise y'all are not gonna book her i personally am not trying to say no names or nothing like that because then you have a situation where people are trying to say that you are trying to harass them and all this stuff so y'all already know i keep it i keep it anonymous in every story time so that's just gonna be a continuous trend so i'm gonna name her what she told me her name was it's not linked to her instagram in any type of way or her you know uh business page or nothing like that so if you end up booking with a girl and she tells you her name is trixie in atlanta and she does um wig installations and sew-ins and quick weaves then y'all it might be the, the trixie that you don't need to be booking with but i'm just gonna name her trixie so before i get into the story time y'all make sure you follow me on instagram at chesta la morena follow my new tiktok at chesta morena i'm gonna put both on the screen definitely follow me because y'all are gonna see some extra behind the scenes stuff on there also if you guys see the option to join when you guys go to my channel or go on my video the button that says join and you have the option to get a um membership if you guys want to go ahead and do that i will be having some just exclusive stuff and perks i just wanted to have a little fun with it i'm new to it as well y'all i really don't know that much about it but i do know that with my memberships i can post stuff that's for members only just some extra stuff um so if you guys were interested in that y'all can go ahead and do that because i just made memberships available also y'all i did want to go ahead and give a shout out to one of my subscribers Janaea monique she makes youtube content as well and i wanted you guys to go ahead and check out her page show some love she makes story times amongst other content that's super entertaining go give her a follow and definitely let her know that chessa sent you so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So it all started when I posted on my Instagram and the post was not up for long because, and y'all, I have receipts. I have receipts of all of this. I literally was screenshotting as I went. I mean, some of it I had to go back and get screenshots of, but some of it I was screenshotting as I went because I just had that gut feeling, baby. But it all started when I made a post on my Instagram saying how I was super excited and how I was about to be doing a shoot. For something important now i'm not going to tell you guys what it is because i still have yet to do the shoot but um i still have a little bit of time before you know it's too late for me to do the shoot for what i'm trying to do it for um so you guys will end up seeing that whenever i get that situated but um yeah so i ended up posting that i wanted to do a shoot and that i was so excited and i was just basically posting that i was like trying to find my looks and stuff like that for the photo shoot right 
mind you, in the post that I made, I, I'm going to see if I can find that post and put it up on the screen as well. But in the post that I made, I didn't say nothing about needing a hairstylist, needing a nail tech, needing nothing. I already had in line pretty much everything that I needed to get done as far as maintenance goes. And as far as my hair goes, y'all, I was either going to rock my natural hair and just get my homegirl who does really cute natural hairstyles to do my hair or I was going to go to one of my regular stylists. Just know that the post did not say anything about me needing anybody to do my hair so i just made the post or whatever and maybe like i don't know 10 minutes 20 minutes i check my request in my dms and i get a dm from this random girl it's from a hair page obviously and i'm gonna post it on the screen and i'm gonna be looking at the screenshots as we go so i can read it word for word as it's on the screen but uh yeah so the post said omg let me do your hair for it i'm atl based and can provide the hair and the service if you can just give me exposure on your youtube channel and social media i love to get my hands in your hair so y'all can tell me if i'm tripping at any point in this story time y'all if y'all think that i'm completely wrong if y'all think that i was wrong in certain situations y'all know y'all can let me know it doesn't mean i won't clock you in the comments and be like girl no this is really what's tea but y'all are entitled to your opinions but to me this seems like she went out of her way to reach out to me to do my hair, right? It seemed like she would even be excited to do my hair based off of the last sentence, right? I love to get my hands in your hair. Meaning she's seen, she's seen my hair, right? Okay, that too. Um, she's ATL based. She said she can provide the hair. Mind you, I took a look at her page. Her work looked good. She did quick weaves. She does sew wins and she does wig installs. Okay, so I saw this and I went to her page. I did my little look around of her page to like just see what her work was like. And she had a phone number. So I went ahead and texted her phone number that was linked to her Instagram account, right? So I ended up saying, I'm going to put all of this on the screen. So that's why I'm kind of sitting like this. So I said, hi, love. This is Chessa from IG. I saw your DM and I'd love to collab. She says, Chessa. Mind you, she spells my name wrong immediately, but... A lot of y'all in the comments be spelling my name like this too, so I ain't even gonna do her like that. She says, Chessa, yes, let's. So what is the date of your shoot and what styles are you interested in getting? So I say, so I'm either gonna do it next week between the 30th and the 1st. I'm shooting for the 30th, so if we can get it done before then, that would be more convenient. But at the latest by the 1st, let me know how that works for you. And as far as styles go, I'm down to do a wig or we can do a sew-in. Whatever you wanna do since you're offering the hair. I'm not picky, also I will be tipping you. Because y'all, some stylists, now, Y'all, I've been doing YouTube for a very long time. I've been doing social media for a very long time. I've done a lot of collaborations for hair, for braids, for lashes, for a lot of stuff. And, you know, some stylists are not down to do the collaboration. Some stylists um, will tell you that they're not looking to do it in exchange for just promo. Some stylists will be rude and say promo don't pay the bills. And it's like, nine times out of ten, y'all. I don't usually reach out to stylists. Sometimes if I'm wanting to do a maintenance vlog or if I know that I'm wanting to do something special and I want to feature, you know, I'm, I love supporting my local stylists and stuff like that. And if I feel like it would be mutually beneficial, like to promote them. And I always tip anyways, because even if it's for promotion, I'm not about to just hop out of your chair and not give you nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tip, but it's like, um, some service providers do not see it as a beneficial exchange, which is cool. If you don't want to do the promo, we don't have to do the promo. This is why I tend to let stylists reach out to me, but I'm not going to lie. Like there haven't been times where I've said I've offered a collaboration um, opportunity or whatever, and I've been turned down and other times stylists have been like, hell yes, let's do it. So this particular time she reached out to me. So I'm thinking like, okay, she's really wanting to do this, right? Mind you, she knows it's for an important um, event that I have posted about just now literally so she says okay let's do a wig i have a few that clients gifted me from companies that sent them extra hair what are your specified lengths color colors and lace size so i say i don't have a preference on lace size it can be 13 by 4 4 by 4 anything i don't care lol and color definitely black but if you have anything with highlights i'd be down for that option as well and the longest option you have because i want to be dramatic for this shoot 30 inches or more I'm asking y'all because if she didn't have something 30 inches or more, y'all, I would have provided my own hair. <laughs> and we're going to get to that at the end or towards the end. But 
um she was like yes i have a 32 inch black bust down we can definitely slay it's 13 by 4 i said bet with a heart she says do you want to do tuesday for the installation i can touch up the style the day of the shoot as well if needed i said yes that works perfect for me can you just send the location and what time i want to see how far you are she sends me the location to her suite she tells me to come at 2 p.m i said okay see you then thanks again also, last thing, do you want me to come blow dry and do I need to come with a braid down? I want to make things easier for you, so just let me know. She says, I got all that. Just come detangled if you can. I said, got it. She said, wait, no, 245, my bad. I said, okay. So as y'all can see, I'm being nice to her. I'm asking how she wants me to come because, you know, even if you paying for your hair, y'all, in Atlanta, most stylists do not provide, like, blowing your hair, washing your hair, braiding your hair, none of that. Like, it's either an added, like, an additional charge or they don't do it at all you know what i'm saying and she told me like i'm thinking like okay she's she's doing it all for me like i love this so um she tells me to just come detangle so y'all are seeing these messages she seemed super nice in the beginning y'all like the way that she was responding to me she was liking my pictures like the day that i responded to her dm she was liking my picture she was like text me back fast as hell like all of these messages are immediate like text me back quick being communicative all of that communication on 10 you know what i'm saying so i'm like all right we can fast forward remember that she says that she can do my hair on this coming tuesday right okay so i told her that i wanted to do the shoot on the 30th or i was shooting for the 30th mind you the 30th was friday so with her saying tuesday i'm like okay that gives me a couple days to get my things together for the shoot that gives me a couple days to get my other appointments out the way if i need to and to just get everything settled and um not be rushing too too much i wanted to be real glitz and glam for this shoot so once she reached out to me and i had it set in my head i was gonna have a bust down for this shoot that's what it was you know in my head like i'm not i'm not gonna go backwards and say oh that i'm gonna do the natural style like no now i'm like i'm hyped to get my hair done for this shoot right let's go ahead and skip to the day of the appointment i end up waking up super early this day i washed my hair i blow dried my hair as well i blow dried my hair and washed it because again she did say i could come just detangled and that she would wash and blow and braid my hair and all of that but i mean i have the shampoo i like to use in my hair i have you know a good blow dryer i have the yellow bird blow dryer i have good products at my house so i was like why not since i'm already up early today i'm just gonna go ahead and knock that out and um all she would have to do is put the meeks in my head you know do me a braid down and then we could you know do the installation so i ended up texting her and the timestamps are on these messages i ended up texting her around 2 28 p.m and i say hey boo i'm here a little bit early so let me know when to come inside i also got me some dunkin and got you some donuts in case you wanted some i'm parked by the beamer there was like a bmw out there by the suite that she told me to pull up at so she texts back and says immediately y'all and says oh sh i forgot about our appointment not gonna lie i stay like 50 minutes from my suite so today won't work can we do thursday I said, ah, you were far from me too, but things happen. Yeah, that's fine. What time Thursday? I'm doing the shoot Friday. I just wanted to let her know that now the shoot is 100% the 30th because the person, the photographer that I was like in cahoots with at first was like telling me that it would be between the 30th and the 1st because it was just based off of their their availability or whatever um, because they had up in the air if they had something in between that time or whatever. So it ended up being that he wanted me to do it on the 30th on that Friday. So I wanted to just make sure she knew because she had already kind of forgot about this appointment that I'm doing the shoot on Friday. She says, she doesn't really acknowledge that I said I'm doing the shoot on Friday. And she says, come at 11 a.m. I said, okay. Now, y'all, between Tuesday and Thursday, so like that Wednesday or the rest of that day on Tuesday and the rest of that day on Wednesday, there were a couple messages on the, in the DMs that I had asked her about like the wig. Like I asked her, um, like I sent her some layer ideas or I sent her some, I just inspo of kind of how i would want it styled or whatever and asking her like if she thought it would be cute for the shoe stuff like that and her responses started being hours later or she would respond and just like it and not really say nothing so i started to think maybe she was just busy maybe she wasn't like you know she's a girly that has her dnd on like i don't really know but it was a big difference between the communication in the beginning and the communication at the end but i didn't think that with how like eager she was to do my hair and how nice she was and how communicative she was in the beginning that she would have ended up 
like ghosting me again I, I wasn't thinking like that y'all and obviously i really wanted her to do my hair once the opportunity be like arose so not too much on y'all y'all probably gonna be like y'all would have been found a new stylist after the first time that she would do but y'all it's not that easy to find a stylist to just do your hair on a whim like i know i said that i have stylists that sometimes be effing with me last minute but like my stylists be booked up sometimes it wasn't given like oh she's she ghosted me on Tuesday, so let me find somebody else. I wasn't thinking that it was going to keep happening. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think it was going to be all of this. So, um, like I said, Wednesday, she's kind of responding late. She's not really responsive when it comes to the ideas I'm throwing at her and the questions that I'm asking her. So, I'm just like, you know what? It's cool. I'm going to just let her work her magic on my hair, and I'm going to just vibe out and wait till Thursday. Or wait till Thursday, yeah. Instead of me texting her, like, I, just, I realized that she wasn't really texting me back for real like i told y'all so what i did is the appointment was for 11 a.m right so y'all i get there probably 10 45 i'm kind of like sitting in the parking lot and mind you the beamer that was there that i was parked next to the first time is there so i'm i'm putting two and two together that that beamer is probably from one of the girls who works in a different suite like door in there because the way the building was set up is you walk in and there's like doors the different suites and there might be a girl in there doing lashes there might be a girl in there doing you know braids and a girl in here doing so it's like you know it was like a like a building with a bunch of beauty stylists and stuff so i'm like okay that's the same beamer that was here the other day so i'm gonna give it some time i don't know if uh trixie may be ubers to work or i don't know like i don't know what her car looks like so and i'm also here 15 minutes early so y'all i wasn't finna trip so i i was chilling in my car watching youtube videos chilling for the whole about 15 minutes and then y'all I, I wait till 11 and i go in the suite or whatever or i go in the building and there's still like a front desk kind of like girl in there that i guess is checking like different people in and i kind of asked her i was like hey um is trixie here and she was like no girl trixie hasn't come in today um i didn't think that she had any appointments today because she said that they had a sheet where it said like how many it didn't say the names and all of that but it would say how many each person um how many appointments each person had for the day or whatever just to keep track of the log or whatever so i she was like there's nothing on here for trixie for today so i was like oh maybe it's because um we're doing like a collaboration it's not really like a like a paid appointment that i booked through her site so maybe that's why it's not on the log and she was like i don't know like i don't know and um i was just like okay so i go back to the car y'all and i waited probably until noon just chilling in the car i called her a couple times and she didn't end up responding so y'all i'm not gonna lie i was pissed i didn't want to text her because i thought that what i texted her was going to be rude in that moment so that's why i was just calling um so around when noon came i went back home about a an hour drive back to my house and around one i texted her and i said hey i went in the building at 11 and the girl said you weren't in your suite i tried calling i sat in the car till around noon and no response i don't know if something happened but tomorrow is my shoot so this is really worrying me can you get back to me as soon as possible i also sent you a message on ig you're like an hour from me so i tried to wait it out but i'm gonna head home now i hope everything's okay because y'all like i said i don't be just trying for issues with people i don't be hoping that somebody got me up i don't be hoping that like it's some negative shit. i'm like okay maybe something happened maybe her car would start maybe she had car problems maybe she's sick maybe you know god forbid she got in a car accident or something i'm like i don't want to blow up shorty phone on some mad shit. and then she texts me back and say hey i'm in the hospital you know what i'm saying like then i would be feeling shitty and looking goofy so i was like that's when i said i hope everything's okay the rest of the day goes by i'm like hoping i'm like crossing my fingers that you know she's gonna end up saying something to me and i'm not gonna lie i dm'd a few um hairstylists in between like after this time i started dming other hairstylists in hopes i would get a response um and i wasn't really getting any responses or open dms or anything like that so i'm just like crossing my fingers and biting my nails at this point and she ends up texting me at night time this same day saying hey i don't have my work phone to text you but i just remembered we had an appointment for today my bad i got caught up i'm overbooked but now that it's nighttime i can't do a night appointment tonight but i can do your hair tomorrow morning at 7 15 a.m before your shoot but it'll be a squeeze-in fee so first of all let's let's kind of dissect and like break down this message first of all you saying that you overbooked but homegirl at the suite said that you didn't have no appointments for that day so overbooked in, in what sense you're not even at the shop so what do you mean by overbooked secondly 
you told me specifically that you had open availability this whole week and you again reached out to me to do my hair so what do you mean overbooked so i said hi what do you mean overbooked i thought you said you wanted to do my hair and we spoke about how you had open availability all this week she said yeah dot dot y'all don't have me up because y'all know the dot 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 be attitude it, don't don't tell me that's not attitude yeah dot 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 but clients started booking i wasn't going to close off your slots because that's money i could be making baby don't pull the whole i need to prioritize paying clients over you shit when you reach out to me it's a different story if i reached out to you wanting you to be on some collaborative shit with me and i really wanted you to do my hair and you agreed and then you started having slots fill up and shit like that then i would understand that better but if i'm being honest on a professional tip i feel like if you agree whether you reached out or got reached out to if you agree to do any type of collaboration with somebody and you agree on a day you need to stay true to that day you need to block off that day because baby whether i'm paying you in in full for your service or i'm just tipping you nice and giving you um promotion across all platforms which costs money when other people are are seeking you know the type of promotion that i'm going to be giving you it's not like it's not beneficial for you you know what i'm saying y'all i have nothing but the girlies following me so me having a female audience that are a bunch of bad is it's definitely beneficial to you for me to you know put your work on my channel and stuff like that not to say that you need me but i'm just saying you know what i'm saying it don't matter if if you agree once you agree you should not be treating our appointment like oh it doesn't matter because you're not paying like baby if if you care more about the paying customers than the collaboration that's one thing but don't agree on a day with me and then flake me and flake me and flake me because paying customers are prioritized baby now you just wasting my time you could just tell me hey i didn't know that i was going to be getting booked up or i didn't know that customers were going to be reaching out hoping asking me to squeeze in and communicate that you no longer want to do the collaboration or you no longer can do it at a certain time because you need to prioritize your paying customers and you know just being communicative with me or just communicating that with me so that i'm not over here with my hands up like oh am i going to get my hair done or not you know what i'm saying because that way i can i can arrange something accordingly i can find someone else to do my hair if you no longer want to do y'all get what i'm saying it's like you don't have to still do this collaboration with me but you can communicate that with me so that i'm not asked out when it comes time to do my shoot hello i said wait i'm lost lol i'm really not trying to be rude but you reached out to me wanting to do this for an important shoot for me that we talked about dates for and everything i was under the impression that the time we had would not be available to anyone else and you also didn't communicate anything you just ghosted me the days of both times she ended up saying y'all rude as well business is business i thought i had the open slots and then i had opportunities to make money and i took them i'm human so yeah the two times i didn't take you i could have did better with that but it's not that serious your shoot is tomorrow and i'm saying i can do it tomorrow early morning for a squeeze in fee so first of all you're telling me business is business you didn't know people were going to be booking okay like i just said i don't really agree with that that's not how i would conduct my business but if that was how i was going to conduct my business i would communicate that rather than just ghosting and then using the excuse of oh well i'm human baby you can't admit that you wrong while simultaneously invalidating me and acting like and like justifying what you did like no don't do that so i said lol this is crazy my shoot is tomorrow so i wouldn't even be able to arrange anything else i don't see why i'd be paying a squeeze in fee when you literally are the reason we have to do it so early tomorrow because you missed our first two appointments she said, not going to lie, you're not paying. So if you wanted me to do your hair for the shoe still, there's a $65 squeeze-in fee. You're joking. So, y'all, I literally called my homegirls up. I'm like almost crying at this point because I'm so frustrated because I was so excited to have my hair done for this shoe. I had like booked a, a, a makeup appointment a lash appointment and i already had my nail appointment like once i figured that i was gonna have my hair done i was like let me just do the whole shit, my makeup done everything so i'm like at this point desperate to get my hair done so you know what i figured my homegirl on the phone like you said you was gonna tip her just don't tip her no more than the 65 dollars that she's making you pay for the squeezing fee like just give her the 65 dollars and in your hand let that be her tip and in her head that can be the squeezing fee because you know what i'm saying since she want to play it like that 
and y'all no shade my tip would have been bigger than $65 like she her tip was gonna be nice so I don't even know why shorty was doing this but so I put like that little face that's like mm, and I said okay considering you're providing the hair I'm gonna pay the squeezing fee even though I feel like that's ridiculous to charge me for I'm already tipping you nicely and promoting you across all platforms which again you sought out from me I didn't even post about needing a stylist but I have no real choice here now due to time so I'll pay the squeezing fee 715 I'll be there are you wanting something from Duncan so this is kind of giving like I'm expressing to you that I have an attitude I'm showing you that I'm bothered but I'm also gonna still be a nice ass and ask you if you want breakfast since it's gonna be so early because i'm coming in with breakfast so she says munchkins and a coffee is cool y'all this is crazy i'm thinking about it in my head i'm like okay 32 inch bust down even though she didn't have to buy this hair this is still hair that she could even either be using on herself or that she could be using on a client or selling or something like that so i'm like all right i'm just gonna give her some grace you know what i'm saying even though i feel like this is unprofessional and this is pissing me off i'm like i'm already not having to provide my own hair which y'all i have i have wigs like i have wigs i have hair that i haven't touched i have bundles i have all of that but you know she offered to provide the hair and i felt like that was nice of her so that's the only reason why i'm like all right you want your little 65 dollars and like i said that's now your tip baby so we can do that so munchkins and a coffee is cool like oh i shouldn't even be getting you breakfast i should be letting your ass starve but anyways so y'all next day rolls around i wake up probably at 6 6 15 wash my hair again blow dry my hair because i mean this is the day of i didn't want to like like, I didn't know how fast she could do that. Like, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? It's a new person I'm going to. I didn't know her process of doing all that. I didn't want to be sitting up under the, the, the hair dryer and then also waiting for this and that. Like, I just wanted to have that already done so that the braid down and everything else would just be all we got to do. So, I ended up texting her and said, hey, I'm on the way. My ETA is 7 o'clock. I was going to be getting there 15 minutes early. And I just wanted to let her know that because... I just wanted to let her know that and I was hoping I would get a response early like so I would feel reassured but anyways I said but I'll wait for you to be ready I said I got your munchkins and your iced coffee by the way I don't see any cars though are you here I didn't see the beamer I didn't see no cars baby it was a deserted parking lot it's set now 718 I text her and I said I haven't heard from you are you running late I said I'm just gonna sit here till at least eight maybe you slept through an alarm I tried calling I put these like these are like a few minutes in between like it's not no long ass time but these are a few minutes in between and then I ended up um like trying the door to see if like the girl at the front desk was going to be there or something nope it was locked the lights off everything so I said actually I'm just going to go home my shoot was supposed to be tonight but it's looking like I'll have to have him push it to tomorrow if he even will push it again can you just get back to me ASAP because originally y'all the shoot was not supposed to be on the 30th through the 1st it was supposed to be like a week prior to that but i ended up having to push it with him further and then that's why he had it up in the air like saying it might be friday um through the first because he has something kind of in the works that weekend so him pushing it some more was probably gonna just annoy him he probably wasn't gonna do it anymore so that's why i said like if he even will push this shoot again so i'm already biting my nails about that i'm biting my nails about my hair um, I'm gonna put on the phone on the screen as well all of the calls that I like I blew up her phone with calls y'all But I didn't call her until like after the appointment time like she said 715. I started calling at 722 I called her all the way until like 830 y'all I'm pretty sure I was still calling her on the way home ready to turn around um And she kind of just like didn't respond to me Yeah I kept calling her throughout the day, I'm pretty sure. I kid y'all not, I ended up posting on my Instagram. Like, I ended up communicating with him. And he ended up saying that I can do the shoot in the morning on Saturday, the 31st. It was, like, where I got my first sewing um, with the bundles that I just had in, like, in my last story time. Um, that hair when I first got it done. Y'all probably remember when I first got it done by Ruby. I posted it and said, who can do a style like this last minute for my shoot tomorrow? I'll promo and pay. Just got canceled on, bruh. Money good as because y'all at this point i'm like if anybody can come through for me last minute like this and do my hair tonight and it was already around 5 4 or 5 p.m i'm like fuck it i'll promote them and i'll pay them because now i'm up like now i'm asked out and i really need somebody so i post that 
and y'all mind you to go backwards a little bit on that thursday or one of those days i'm gonna put on the screenshot i ended up cash up in her 20 dollars when we agreed on another like time or whatever i cashed up her 20 dollars just for like a little deposit to, to feel more secure in the time that we were getting like i felt like maybe if i sent her a little bread even though 20 20 dollars ain't really nothing i was like you know but it's the fact that i'm even sending you money for a deposit and paying a 65 dollars squeezing fee and when I, where this was supposed to just be in exchange for promo and me giving you a tip like that was all we agreed on so it's crazy that i even sent her this 20 dollars and she's still doing me like this so yeah so i posted and y'all this girl slides slides up on that story and says delete this my bad i can do it can you come back right now i'm on the way to the shop right now this is at 5 something p.m y'all I said yes but not gonna lie i'll just pay you for the style and bring my own wig it's already ready to install you can keep the wig you were offering and i'll pay you for your service based off of your website because i honestly don't feel like i'd be doing the right thing by recommending you based off of my experience not even trying to be mean but this has been a hassle and this shoot was really important to me and i honestly could have booked the stylist or gone with my original plan if you never reached out wanting to do my hair and now it's too late to arrange an alternative i see on your site you don't charge for braid downs my hair is already washed and blow dried so i'll pay for the install is that cool because it's like y'all are probably like damn you petty because all you would have to pay her 65 dollars but it's like it's, it's just the principle at this point because it's like i feel like your communication is piss poor and even though i'm not a traditional paying client i don't want to send this to you and you do them a similar type of way and i know in the back of my head i had a bad experience with you and i'm over here promoting you to my people like no i'm not doing that shit. so y'all anything that i've ever promoted to you guys i had no problem with i had no bad experience with so she says okay cool but i'm going to post you on my page when the style is complete and like y'all i don't give a fuck about that some content creators don't like you to take their pictures or videos without paying them or permission or whatever but i don't care if you want to post the work as long as i don't look crazy as hell you can post the work i'm just not promoting you on my show so i said that's fine i like the message and i'm gonna insert the timestamps to show that this was almost at 6 p.m when she finally said this mind you you had all this ignoring shit to do you was ignoring me all this time until i posted and wanted somebody else to do my hair and you peep that i was gonna pay the bitch and promote the bitch and you weren't liking that so we can skip like i have um more screenshots coming but i'm gonna go ahead and skip to i ended up like pulling up to her after she said that when she said she was on the way to the shop i ended up um heading to the shop my hair was already washed and blow dried from the morning so i ended up pulling up there and y'all i had to get my energy right y'all like i had to get my energy right believe me or don't believe me i had no attitude initially pulling up um i get there she's like rushing and like throwing her stuff together like she lets me in the suite and she's like moving the chairs she's putting things on to heat up like she's like rushing she starts braiding my hair down y'all and she's like before she even started braiding the hair down she doesn't make sure that she detangles it properly so like she's like braiding through kind of little tangles and stuff and it's hurting like y'all already know getting braided down hurts but i am not tender-headed i said this before i am not tender-headed so if you're hurting me you're being od rough like is you cool so she's like braiding me and it's kind of hurting me and i'm like hold on she's like i mean i'm trying to rush because you need it done and i'm like Y'all, I ended up not saying anything back to that because it's like one of those things where it's like if I say something to you, I'm not going to get my hair done because we're going to be scrapping on the floor. So I was just like, okay. And then she realizes she needs to brush it through real quick. She takes the braid down. She brushes through my blowed out hair and then she starts doing the braid down, y'all. Y'all, mind you, I'm not looking in the mirror. Like, I'm not facing the mirror. I'm faced away from the mirror. So, I'm really just, like, here and there kind of feeling it. And it's feeling fine. Like, I don't, you know, I don't really get wigs done too much. I usually get sew-ins and my braids be flat. But, like, sometimes they be feeling a little lumpy and then it turns out flat. So, I'm not really trying to critique too much. I've seen her work. Her work was good. So, I was, like, trusting it even though she was being rough and rushing with my hair. By the time she got done with my hair and showed me to the mirror, y'all, it was yeah i don't even think i took a picture because again i wasn't planning on making a story time i was really just crying because my hair looked so up but anyways when she initially showed me y'all my lace was kind of like she didn't match it to my skin so it wasn't like it wasn't matching me and then not to mention like the braids underneath were lumpy so the it looked like a helmet it looked like a helmet on my head if i could find a video of and when i turned to the side y'all you could see like the braids like it looked like i had a a lump on the back of my head and up here 
like it was lumpy it looked a mess she tried like this style y'all know that braid that goes like here like you wear it down but like there's like a french or like a fishtail braid that goes like like that or something like that she attempted that and it was like messy and it was like lopsided the braid wasn't even on both sides it wasn't even the same size on both sides and it just looked a hot mess so i ended up telling her like i don't really like the style that you did i tried to send you inspo of what style like the what styles i liked but i like you know was just gonna let you get have the creative control and do the style but i don't like it like i was pointing out the imperfections i guess you could say and she was just kind of like well this is how i always do this style so if you don't like it it'll be a fee to change it since you're paying now for the style so i was just like so it's a fee to pay for you to fix something that you did wrong and she was just like i didn't do nothing wrong though like you just not having a preference for this style doesn't mean i did it wrong like nobody else has complained about this style looking like this so i was like well i don't like it like i'm sitting in her chair and i'm like well i don't like it so what are we like what am i supposed to do just go looking crazy like i don't like it she's just kind of like all right well i'll fix it but again it'll be like a, a five dollar fee to make changes because i did it the way that i do everybody else and you're paying for my time and then she said something like um also i had to let you know that your breakdown is gonna be is gonna cost and i was like what do you mean and she was like because you have extra thick hair and extra long hair the braid down took normal or took more time than it takes me with all my other clients so i was just like hold on so i pulled out her website in front of her face in the chair and i'm kind of showing it to her and i'm like how are you gonna charge me for a extra for a braid down that you don't even charge for in the first place like it would be different if she had like a fee for a braid down already like a, just a, a flat rate for a braid down and then she tried to upcharge me for it which i i wasn't going no way like i wasn't going to pay no upcharge for shit. if it's not if it's not saying that in your policy that if you have extra long thick hair it's going to be extra money i'm not doing it like the only time i've ever seen something like that is when you get an extra long wig or you want you have extra long hair and you want an extra style then it's it costs more because of the length but like my real hair baby i get braid downs all the time and yeah it might take a little longer because i have a lot of hair but it's like i have never gotten charged for that being the case like it's not my fault how much hair i have on my head like what and you already like i said don't don't charge for a braid down in the first place so i was like and she was like yeah so um the squeezing fee the fee to make to make changes and then the braid down fee and y'all i looked at her and i was like respectfully i'm not paying you anything extra i was like i'm not paying you anything extra because i was like you are taxing me for idiotic at this point y'all and it was given that she was taxing because she was salty that i wasn't promoting her shit no more like she probably felt like oh this isn't worth it she's paying me like a regular customer and not giving me the promotion no more and she was probably like blow but it's like that's your fault because you it up basically you up this whole situation so now that's why you're not getting the exposure and you're not getting the promotion like we originally like i was more than happy to do that baby like and probably return to you as a regular client after the promotion if you if, if i had a good experience but you messed that up so um it was given she was just taxing for dumb shit at this point so i was like look i don't like my hair and i'm probably not gonna rock this for my shoot but i'm gonna pay you for your service because you did it and you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna just walk out and not pay you anything but i'm gonna pay you what your install fee is my job her install fee was 250 dollars on her website for an install it was 250 dollars so i was like i'm gonna pay you the 250 for the install but respectfully now that you are charging me for ridiculous and i feel like you're just like trying to get over on me i'm not paying you the squeezing fee no more i'm not paying you the 65 dollars squeezing fee i'm not um doing none of that shit. i'm just gonna pay the 250 i'm not tipping you i'm not doing none of that like respectfully i'm not doing none of that so we start going back and forth a little bit she's just kind of like um you i th this appointment was supposed to be for 7 15 i cut her off and i'm like yeah but it wasn't you ghosted me at seven o'clock in the morning today i got you breakfast and everything this is like the second or third time i bought you breakfast the second or third time i wasted my money on gas coming here you're like an hour away from me like i should have been like wash my hands with this situation but i'm not paying you all these ridiculous fees so i told her y'all i said either i pay you the 250 for the install or i don't pay you nothing amen so she's just like okay my cash up she's like 
she's like she kind of looked like she's shook y'all like she probably didn't think i was gonna come with that energy which i don't know if you if i don't know if she came from my youtube channel or if she came just from instagram i don't know like if she knows the lore i don't know if she knows what's tea with me for real but i don't think she is the look on her face gave she didn't expect me to pop it like that which i wasn't even popping in for real but she was just like okay my cash up is so and so i sent her to 250 and i walked out mind y'all i walk out and i'm in my car i immediately start crying and facetiming my friends i think my hair looks horrible my friends are saying it looks horrible my friends are like oh no baby that you need to take that out of your head immediately oh my god oh, look at your hair oh my god <laughs> help me the next day i end up getting a text from her the next morning for real. it was really at noon ish and she ends up saying, which I'm going to put on the screen, not going to lie, I'm going to have to see about them fees because you already not promoting the hair. And yeah, you paid for the service and provided your hair, but your hair long as any other stylist would charge an extra fee for braid down because that's too much work. And if I would have had to blow dry, that would have been extra too. I don't know how you're not understanding that. Then to say you either going to only pay what's on my site or walk out like you disrespectful and bold for that. You didn't even pay the squeeze in fee I told you about then didn't want me taking pictures. Oh yeah, because y'all, she wanted to take pictures of it when before I told her I didn't like it and I told her I didn't want her posting me because it looked crazy and I was like low-key I didn't think she would want to post that either but I told her no because like I told like I said earlier y'all can run it back I said I don't care if you post me as long as I'm not looking crazy so I said is you cool what you mean see me about them because or see about them because I don't know what you mean you're gonna have to see about them fees because like what are you gonna see you're not about to see shit. I'm not paying you nothing so I said what you mean see about them I'm not paying you a thing else one exactly i paid your 250 install fee which is kind of ridiculous in itself two i came washed and blow dry three in your policies and on your site it specifically says braid down and blow dry is included in the price and i still came blowed four girl nowhere does it say longer hair is an upcharge and no other stylist has ever done that to me five and you damn skippy you were rough as with my hair and my hair looked stupid as i already took it out and i still paid you for the goofy shit. You were also trying to tax for idiotic shit because you were salty. Let's be real. I ain't want you taking picture, pictures of that shit because I looked like someone installed it by putting the wig on and running over my head. Why would you even want to post that? Six, I realized after all that, why the fuck would I still pay a squeeze-in fee when you canceled on me and ghosted me hella times? Yeah, nah. It's my goofy ass fault for even still following through with you doing my hair. You ruined one of my good wigs, lol. And now I can't do this shoot till next month. But everything happens for a reason. She says, who the f you talking to? I'm not these other ATL hairstylists. I said, this ain't no group chat. I'm talking to you. And I don't give up who you is. I was nice and understanding this entire time. Again, goofy of me. I should have walked out once you started being rough with my head. And I shouldn't have paid for the ludicrous ass you did to my head trust i'm very respectful but it can get like that she says you little influencers don't know who y'all be with i said let me find out then you need that do you need that you need that you need that you want that and you need that you can get that I said, you need that because you can have that. She says, all I know is if I see a story time about me, even anonymous, it'll be an issue. I said, it could be an issue then. You can really get treated now. Where are you at? Question mark, question mark, question mark. No response. About five minutes later, I put a cricket emoji. About 10 minutes later, I said, oh, okay, shawty Adam forgot she dropped the dot to that. Sweet. See you when I see you. Because it's like, I already know where you work at. So now that you're talking to me crazy and you, you claim me that you need that, you can have that she says i'm not at the now you want to respond she says i'm not at the suite so i said okay it don't matter i'm on wheels where you at five minutes ten minutes later i'm like where you at where you at where you at okay then she don't end up saying nothing and then y'all a whole like almost hour later this is on my medulla at this point i'm gonna put the the screenshot with the timestamps. i end up texting her at like 120 at this time and i said then i'm remembering i sent you 20 dollars a couple days before our appointment as a deposit because i felt like you wouldn't ghost me if i sent some money so there's your fee oh i'm glad as this wait no i'm glad as this was happening i was taking screenshots and not deleting sh now i'm gonna turn this into content just because you playing with me and i'm gonna still see you when i see you because now it's like if you see a video you gon' you gon' like girl you acting like you finna whoop me or something if i do a video and i really wasn't gonna do a video but now you asked for it you you damn near begged me for it so y'all probably like a day or two later i ended up like in that area of atlanta where her suite was and i ended up i saw the beamer so i was like is that beamer hers or is that that lady's but like i was just 
going in to see if she was there i go in i ask the lady is trixie there she says no and that she hasn't been in for a couple days so i'm like all right and i washed my hands with it on that day because it was like if she was there y'all it would have it would have went down I would have handed I would have treated her if she was there but she wasn't and I wasn't gonna keep driving like I just so happened to have something to do out in that part of Atlanta but that's like an hour away from where I stayed it wasn't like in the city city or nothing like that and I don't even stay in the city city anyway so it was like um I wasn't gonna keep driving back to her suite to try to like pop up on her and treat her because it's not that deep if I see her anywhere y'all and she's still acting like she need that she can have that if she sees this video maybe she'll you know magically be on that time i don't know it's not that i want to you know get into an altercation or nothing like that but it's just like you reached out to me let me just summarize all of this again you reached out to me you were nice to me i was nice to you i was trying to accommodate you and make things easier for you as you were making things easier for me and doing a favor for me i tried to make it as beneficial for both parties as possible i gave you grace the first time that you forgot about our appointment the day of while i was already there um i gave you grace the second time that you did it and uh even though i wasn't going to be promoting your work anymore i was still going to be paying you in full for your service even after the nasty messages and the sh that i would have never went for if i wasn't so desperate to get my hair done which again that's also partially my fault i should have been washing my hands with her so it didn't get to this point but it's like girl you have no professionalism about yourself and this is exactly why this happened who knows if we'll ever catch a fade i don't really i really doubt it y'all i really doubt it y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comments what y'all would have done if y'all feel like we were both wrong or i have a feeling y'all are gonna be like well yeah you shouldn't have still went to get your hair done by her and it would have never happened you should have cut it off the first red flag or whatever which i can agree with that but i still don't think that that justifies all of this it just doesn't i'm sorry uh no but yeah y'all that's the end of this video if you enjoyed make sure you comment like and subscribe comment other videos that you guys want to see from me turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when i post a video follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below also follow me on my new instagram well it's not a new instagram my current instagram is chesta la morena follow me on tiktok at chesta morena and yeah y'all i love you guys so much and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one don't book with a whole name trixie in atlanta bye and if you're a trixie that's not the same trixie i'm sorry actually y'all don't not book with somebody because they're trixie don't do that don't do that because there might be other hairstylists in atlanta named trixie that do the same styles don't you might have the wrong Trixie, and then y'all would be dead as wrong. So don't go harassing nobody. Thank you guys so much, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Bye.